Wes Colson from Colson Elder Law, proudly serving clients throughout the St. Louis metropolitan area and beyond. I'd like to welcome you to our Elder Law and Estate Planning Minute. We do these to help educate people, give them some little tips, uh, and especially to let them know the questions that they need to ask, things that they've maybe not thought of. Uh, our thought on that is that we can help you best if you realize the things that you need help and that we can help you with. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Today I want to give you my practical guide for choosing a long-term care facility. Um, there are ratings things that you can find. Medicare in fact has one and they can be somewhat helpful but the system can also be gamed so I'm not sure that they're especially the most reliable. Um, here's what I would do in choosing a long-term care facility for a loved one. First, I would go in and realize that this is not the Ritz-Carlton that they're staying at for a week of vacation. This is where they're going to live. If they've not lived in a fancy home, they're not necessarily going to be more comfortable living in a fancier facility. That's not the most important thing. What are the most important things? Well, first of all, it, it needs to look and smell clean, uh, just like your own home. That's something of a matter of, of pride and sanit being sanitary is very important. Um, the next thing I would do is to ask how long the administrator has been in place and how much staff turnover they have had in the last year and a half. Um, administrator in place for a long time means that they have their stuff together, they're well organized, um, otherwise either the administrator would move on or the administrator would get moved on. Um, and staff turnover tells you whether people like going to work there. Uh, if they've had little staff turnover, that means that people were happy about their jobs and that also speaks to a well-run place. Finally, what I would do would be to visit uh, at a time that is kind of unpredictable for them, look around, see how things are going, and then kind of gently knock on a few doors, especially doors uh, where people may have visitors and ask, ask the residents, ask the visitors, and ask the residents, how do you like it here? Are they taking good care of you? And ask the same thing of family members. And if you catch them a little bit off guard, I think you're going to get candid responses. And I think if you do that, um, you'll be happy with your choice. No guarantees. Um, but it, it's, it's a good practical way of going about the process. Thanks.